Hey guys, Tony Denaro here. Welcome back to the channel. Happy Friday. Hope you guys had a great week and are ready for a great weekend. The most common question I am getting right now is regarding Ape and AMC. If the vote passes and if the lawsuits are dismissed, how is the conversion going to work and what is the price going to be? Let's talk about that. It was a good Friday today for AMC and Ape. AMC closing up almost 8% at $6.58. Ape closing up almost 9% at $1.82. Now, about that conversion price, let's talk about that. I have been receiving a couple of questions about why is the conversion of Ape to AMC not explicitly written out in the proposals. Proposal one talks about increasing the shares of common stock and proposal two talks about a reverse split, but nowhere in them does it say explicitly the ape will be converted to AMC. Rest assured, it is covered in the original documentation that created ape that if there was a vote, the conversion would be automatic. And they do talk about it in the proxy on page two. If both the share increase proposal and the reverse split proposal are approved and implemented, each issued an outstanding share of Series A preferred stock that was previously convertible into 100 shares of common stock will automatically convert in full with no action on the part of shareholders. So if the two proposals are implemented, the conversion of APE into AMC is automatic. It doesn't need to be explicitly in proposal one or proposal two. The fact that we're having a vote will cause the conversion to happen. Now there is the matter of that scheduled April 27th preliminary injunction hearing from the two plaintiffs that want to halt the implementation of this vote. And the judge has ordered that whatever the results of the vote are, no action will be taken. And as I understand it, and from reading the documents, the only way that ape goes away is when the conversion and the reverse split actually happens. So right now I'm expecting that ape will continue trading until we get a judge's decision. That is what I expect. Let me know if you expect something different. I'm still seeing a lot of confusion about the conversion rate versus the price after the conversion. I'm hearing some people still say two apes get you one AMC or a hundred apes get you one AMC. It is a one for one conversion. As it says here in the proxy statement, if you hold a hundred shares of common stock and a hundred ape, after the reverse split and conversion, those total of 200 shares will give you an aggregate of 20 shares of common stock. That is a one for one conversion. And then the reverse split would drop in this example, 200 total shares down to 20. The conversion is one thing, figuring out what the price is going to be after the conversion is a whole nother ball game. And there are two different schools of thoughts. I'm gonna talk about both of them. I know some people get really angry when I talk about both, but I think it's worth having the discussion. There is this email from John Merriweather, the CFO of AMC sent to an investor and then posted on Twitter, and I do believe it to be real. It says that if the proposals are passed, the APE units will convert into AMC shares at whatever the AMC share price is at the time of conversion. Some people have taken a very narrow interpretation of this. Let's talk about the two scenarios. A very narrow interpretation of it saying that if AMC is at $6 and APE were at $2, then magically your APE are going to be valued at $6 and you have a huge arbitrage opportunity of $4 per share. That could be one scenario. In this first scenario, if you take John Merriweather at his word and the price of AMC today or $6.58, that would value APE at $6.58. And after the one for 10 reverse split, that would impute a new trading price the next morning of $65.80. But I believe that when the conversion and the reverse split are confirmed, you will see an immediate reaction in the price of AMC and APE bringing them very quickly to a parity level. That does not mean that there's not an arbitrage opportunity. I think there is an arbitrage opportunity if you can get APE cheap enough relative to AMC. But instead of this huge gap, it's going to be a smaller gap somewhere between the current price of APE and a midpoint between 
Ape and AMC right now. Please keep in mind, nobody knows exactly what is going to happen. This is certainly not financial advice to buy, sell, or hold Ape or AMC to take advantage of this. And you cannot ignore the lawsuit risk that is still hanging over Ape. So do your own due diligence, make your own decisions, drop your comments below about what you think is going to happen. The other school of thought, maybe you could call it scenario two, or maybe you could call it just adding additional color to what John Merriweather said, is to take the market caps of AMC and Ape and divide them by the float. In that scenario, we have a market cap for AMC right now of 3.41 billion, and for Ape, a market cap of 1.28 billion, yielding a total market cap of 4.69 billion. If we then take the total count of shares of AMC and Ape, and I got those numbers from the proxy because that is the most up-to-date information we have, it is a total between AMC and Ape of just over 1.4 billion shares. Now let's take those combined market caps of AMC and Ape and divide them by the total amount of shares. We get a result of 3.24. That would be $3.24. Multiply it by 10 because of the reverse split. You'd get a price roughly for the new trading stock the next morning of $32.40. Now you can see with Ape being $1.80, that's still a good arbitrage play. And you can also see why the people who sold all their Ape and are only holding AMC would be so upset if the conversion and reverse split went through because they might be losing considerable value on their AMC shares. So scenario two is my personal best guess. Again, this is not an expert opinion. This is what I think is going to happen. It'll start trading if we use today's prices around $32.40 as soon as the market opens or in pre-market, whenever it starts trading. And then immediately the market is going to decide what direction the price goes from there. Could go down, it could go up. Hopefully this video answered some of your questions. If you have a different way of estimating what the price is going to be after a conversion and reverse split, be sure and drop me a comment down below. Hit the like button on your way out the door. And if this is your first time here, don't forget to buy and hold that subscribe button. I am Tony DeNaro. Join me live tonight for Stock Talk, any ticker that you want to talk about. We're also going to be doing a beer taste testing. So go get your Voodoo Ranger or your favorite beer. It really doesn't matter. Let's have some fun. It's Friday night. It's the weekend. I will see you on the next video.